In this video, we're going to learn how to use the if name is equal to main technique in Python. So you may have seen this in Python programs. If double underscore name double underscore is equal to the string containing double underscore main double underscore, and then we'll have some code in this code block here. This Python programming technique makes it so this block of code only executes if this file is executed as a script but not if this file is imported as a module. Let's go over what's going on step by step. So first off, this here, double underscore name, double underscore. That is a special variable in Python. When we use this file, that variable is actually going to be set by Python. We could output it here with print and we'll have double underscore name, double underscore. If we save the file and run the program like this, with python3 pycode.py, we'll get here double underscore main double underscore. So the special variable double underscore name double underscore is set to the string double underscore main double underscore when we run this pycode.py file as a script like this. Now, if we import this file in say other.py as a module, then double underscore name double underscore is going to be set to the name of the file, in this case, PyCode. So here, if we have import PyCode, we're now importing PyCode as a module in the file other.py, and if we save other.py, and then run other.py as a script, we'll get PyCode as output. And what's going on is when we import PyCode, the content in this file is going to be interpreted by Python. So this call to print is going to output double underscore name, double underscore. But this time, because PyCode has been imported as a module and not run as a script, double underscore name, double underscore is going to be set to the name of the file, in this case, PyCode. So that's how that special variable works. Now files are imported as modules by other files, so those other files can access things like functions and class types defined inside those modules. So for example, in pycode.py, we can define a function called function. And that function could have a function body, which is just this call to print here. And we could then save pycode.py. Then in other.py, we could access this function here, we could have pycode.function to call that function. And if we save the program and run it, we'll again get pycode. Now, what if in the pycode.py file, below any function definitions and class definitions, we had code that we intended to run when pycode.py is run as a script? So for example, let's say down here, we call the function. And this is code we intend to run when pycode.py is run as a script. If we do save this file and then run pycode.py as a script, we'll see that the function does run and we output double underscore main double underscore because that's what the special variable double underscore name double underscore is set to. The problem is when we import pycode in other.py, remember the contents of this file are interpreted. So this function definition is going to be created, but we'll also call this function when we import pycode here. So if we try to run the other.py file as a script, we'll now get pycode and pycode. And what's happening is when we import pycode, the contents of this file are being interpreted and we call the function. Then in other.py, we also call the function. So we output pycode and pycode again. Now, what if we do want to import the pycode file so we can access the function and anything else defined inside the file, but we don't want to run the code that would typically run if that file were executed as a script. That's where we can use the if name is equal to main technique. So here we could have if double underscore name double underscore is equal to the string double underscore main double underscore, then we'll call this function. Now, if we save the pycode.py file and we run the other.py file as a script, we'll now get pycode output only once. And that's because even though other.py is still importing pycode and this content is still going to be interpreted, double underscore name double underscore is not equal to the string double underscore main double underscore. 
it's equal to the string PyCode. So this condition is false and this function call never executes. Then in other.py, we do call the function there and we will put PyCode once. Now, notably, we can still run PyCode.py as a script and have this code here run. So if we do run PyCode.py as a script, we do get here double underscore main double underscore because the code in this code block did run. So this technique of using if name is equal to main allows us to define a block of code that will only execute if the file is run as a script, but not if the file is imported as a module. And this technique is often useful. So for example, in a file that is typically imported that includes things like function definitions and class types, we may want to have some code that tests out those functions and those class types in that file. We could put that test code inside the block of the if name is equal to main if statement. And then we could run the file as a script to run the test code, but the test code wouldn't run when importing the file. In languages like C and C++, there's a main function where program execution begins. Sometimes people use this technique to emulate that. So for example, we could call this function main, and then inside of the if name is equal to main block, we could call main. The idea being that here we're defining the main function as the beginning of our program's execution. So this is how we can use the if name is equal to main programming technique in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.